Today we're gonna to talk about a very difficult and controversial topic. I believe in my bones, it's in your best interest as a pole vaulter to have this information. So I have to be very careful the way I present it. Today we're gonna to talk about butt plug safety. Welcome to the Pole Vault Vlog. My name is Sean Francis and here on this channel, we talk everything pole vault. This video is brought to you by me because I don't have any sponsors for this channel. <laughs> Head over to team-shoot.com and pick up the pole vault toolbox. We also have pole vault training plans and shirts and, and all sorts of stuff. Go there and help support the channel. Without further ado, butt plug safety. Now the easiest thing you can do is check your butt plug. Over time as they slide into the box or slide over the track, they wear out on one side. It's good practice to twist and rotate your butt plug periodically so they last a little bit longer. But the only way to know if you need to twist and rotate it is to check your butt plug. Now, if it's old and worn out enough, you can literally get holes in it. And if there's holes in the plug, it can damage your poles. And if your pole is damaged, it can create an unsafe situation for you as a pole vaulter. Check your butt plug. Now the size is very important to get a nice snug fit. All plugs have a little size number inside to help you fit the right one to the right pole. It's usually, in, it's usually inside, like right, right here. The bigger the number on the plug, the smaller diameter pole, and vice versa. The smaller the number on the plug, the bigger diameter of the pole. What numbers does yours have? Check your butt plug. Does your pole have the right size? I've seen it happen where someone pole vaults and the plug slips right off their pole. Imagine not having a butt plug while you're trying to pole vault. If your plug is too big or too small, you have to order the right size. Or if it's close, you can usually wrap a little tape around the pole and then like slide it on there and it'll you know, fit pretty good. No, like seriously, sometimes my plugs used to come off of my pole after I pole vault, so I had like double check to make sure it was there and nine times out of 10, if it wasn't, it was like just resting in the box, which also makes it dangerous for the next pole vaulter, but it also makes it dangerous for me because I don't have a plug and they might hit a plug in your pole and it'll be able to roll you guys. Check your butt plug. But Sean, does the uh, color of the butt plug matter? No, but I would love to know the color of yours. Uh, my butt plug looks pretty dirty. Should I be worried? Not as long as it's structurally sound. And I wanna be the first to thank you for checking your butt plug. Hey Sean, it seems that some are uh, made with a different material and last a little longer than others. What's up with that? The key takeaway here is that you know when to rotate and replace your butt plug. Last but not least, this topic is difficult to talk about. I know. That's why it's important for you to be brave and to speak up about butt plug safety. Remind your teammates to check their butt plugs. Your coach to check their butt plug. Your competitors, even though they're your competitors, have them check their butt plugs. And if your mom pole vaults, remind her to check her butt plug. <laughs> As a way to ease into this difficult conversation, I'm launching a few new pole vault shirt designs called Check Your Butt Plug. <laughs> that way you can give everyone around you a reminder to check your butt plug. <laughs> so head over to team-hoot.com. Pre-orders for all the shirts ends on November 19th, which is coming up here pretty quick. We also added XXL to every shirt because I was getting a lot of emails from people asking me to do that. So there's bigger shirts for you. Guys, remember, there's more than one way to pole vault. I will see you in the next one. Yeah.